Today marks one year since the first Russian tanks rolled into Ukraine, the first missiles fired, and the first Ukrainian families fled their homes to escape the fighting. In a video address overnight, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky recalled the terror. In the East, it's very difficult, painful, but we are doing everything to withstand it. As for the South, in some places the situation is quite dangerous, but our troops have the means to respond to the occupier. The country is increasing security in Kyiv today as it braces for potential attacks. Also today, people across the world and here in Raleigh are showing support for the Ukrainian community. Some of the families seeking safety ended up right here in our area. WRO's Laura Levine is at the state capitol this morning where a vigil will be held tonight. Laura. Renee, for Ukrainians and those who support them, this one-year milestone is a grim reminder of how much their lives have changed. Tonight, many people are expected to be standing right here outside the NC State Capitol to commemorate the suffering that is still going on. The Ukrainian Association of North Carolina invites the community to participate in a vigil, shedding light on Russia's invasion into Ukraine and encouraging people not to turn a blind eye. The group has worked tirelessly over the past 12 months to rescue families to safety, flying them out of the country as the war continues. They have more than 40 million airline miles donated and have donated and helped about 1,400 Ukrainians find a new home. Sometimes it just gives you chills because it's just so powerful that strangers from around the world have come and join us to, to help these many, many families that you know, their only hope right now is us. And as of today, the organization has about 12 families left to book who have reached out over the past year trying to get out of that area and find a home right here in the Triangle. The vigil tonight will start at 630 and will end around 930 p.m. Laura Levine, WRL News, live in Raleigh.